What's going on everybody? My name is Seth and you're watching 252 Squad and in today's video we're going to start on some exterior stuff besides the third brake light. Some more lighting stuff on my S197 5.0, my 2013 5.0 Mustang. Today we're starting with some clear side marker lights. One, two, three! So I'm not gonna lie, whoa, whoa, whoa. I got these things off of Amazon. So these are made in China Gimpro lights. So we're gonna see how these go. We're gonna install them and I'm gonna give you a full in-depth of how to install them and what they're gonna look like. I already have LED smokes, but they are red in the rear, orange in the front. So I'm just going to the LED style on these to match the LED license plates lights. So as all the other LED lights on the car, don't mind the intake manifold, that's for a later video. Alrighty, so we got them out of the box here. As you can see, they're just smoked. It looks like a double bar LED. As you can see on them, they are DOT legal. legal. Uh, these are the fronts. This one right here is the rear. So we're gonna go ahead and try to pop these one out. These, apparently we have to take the fender liners off. So we're gonna go ahead and get the car up in the air on the lift and see what that's about. So we're gonna go up and start with the front ones here. As you can see, I do already have smoked LEDs in here. I think these may also be kind of like an Amazon brand or something like that. I don't actually know what they are. They're not like diodes or Raxium or whoever those name brand ones are, but we should be able to access it through this fender liner here. I do have the wheel. I'm gonna try not to take the wheel off and try to get to it that way if it's a little bit more like in a driveway experience type deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that. I'm gonna put you on the stand here and get a little time-lapse going. So let's get into it. So, got the new one here. This one, I have no clue how it's gonna be, uh, but the last one I had was some Ben Stars. If I pull it up right here. This is the old one. Uh, it is a Ben Star brand. I don't know how well you can read that, but uh, hopefully the new ones are gonna do better than these did. Quality-wise, actually, the connector itself on these look better um, than what these did. These just had like a little bitty prong like this. This has like a full scale, have the other one out prong like this on it and as you can see the adapter just slides in there so essentially this piece goes this plug-in piece slides in to this piece here and then the plug-in piece actually will twist in like a normal light bulb will into this and it makes it one entire unit and then you can come over here to the spot here and then i'm just going to pull the cord through and stick it in and then take the two little screws these actual screws and they're actually like plastic thread screws and they just thread onto these untapped plastic threads there i'm just using a flex head quarter inch drive with that let's hope i didn't just break that like i said just gonna bring the little connector right through the hole here plug it in like that and then flip it the right way and then i'm gonna just hit the key right fast and see what she looks like nice Nice, that's pretty much what I want. You can actually see, kind of matches the LED there, coming down to an LED here. This is even actually brighter than the factory LED strips up there. You see it in person, but it looks clean, I like it. So the rear ones back here are really easy. You actually can just stick a trim tool back here and pop them up. I'll show you a little bit better on the other side, but this one we're just gonna go ahead and plug in like this. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and hit a little one of these right fast. Yeah, that thing's bright, that's beautiful, beautiful. You see it just kind of sticks right in there like that. It just clicks into place. Stick that one in there. Put another one right here. Do it with one of those. And then it pops. And you can just give her a little twist. Whichever direction it's supposed to go. Pull it right on out. Not too bad, honestly, do you take them out? Uh, it just takes a little bit of All right, so to put the new ones in. You see the new piece here? This is the old one. Just undo the connector there. Just gonna wanna slide it in there like this. Make sure it's locked in there like that. Then you can essentially take it. There's a little line up here, like a T. You can line the connector piece up. Really squish it in there because it's got like an O-ring on it to keep it from getting water into the lens. And then you can just twist it like that. And then it just plugs in. And then you do a little bit of this. And then that and then it clicks into place and that's all that is on the rear ones not too bad honestly all righty so got all the lights on the car as you can see here the new front light here lights up all nice and led moving around to the rear of the vehicle 
got the rear ones back here. Also looking great. Matches the one license plate light that is working because there is uh, an issue that I haven't talked about yet with this car. Um, there is this one right back here that now works up and lights up. And then we got this one up here at the front. Didn't really get a good go around of the vehicle beforehand, but as you can see, it looks way better, at least in the front too, with the LEDs matching there and then the LED down there. Also, once the full bolt on is done, I'm waxing this dud 504th gen. <laughs> this 10 speed would walk me. This thing is fast. I've ridden in it and driven it once. Insane car. S650s are no longer hated on by me. Why are these things so bougie? Like, look at this man's lighting. What? What? Dude, the best thing I got is. Good old 2013 versus 2024 right here. All right, so a little cut from the uh, side marker lights. We are currently in Sean, if you remember him from the E36, in his new to him 2017 GTI. And we just picked up a set of Euros on Facebook Marketplace for the Mustang. All right, so we're back from taking our trip. We got the Euros in here in the back of Sean's GTI. So we're gonna get ready to go ahead and slap them in here. So we're just gonna take off these panels here. Go ahead and get access and see what we're working with behind the panels there. All right, don't mind my junk back here, but we went ahead and got this piece out. It's just a little screw piece here and then some push tabs down here. We'll be able to pop it right on loose. Now we can get access in here to the bolts for the tail light as well as the electrical connector here. So I went ahead and unbolted and unplugged from the backside here, pretty easy and simple. Now you can just essentially take it, pull the tail light out just that easily. So now let's get to the Euros in the box. So pretty much as you can see here, these are the new Euro style. You can see it's just the white light, no hat, like red around like these are. Uh, still LED in the middle here, plug and play harness. So if you see here, harness here versus harness here is the exact same. So I'm gonna leave a link down to the end the description of what these are. I did buy them on Facebook Marketplace for cheaper, but I will leave where these came from uh, down in the description. Like I said, these are the OEM, these are the new ones. The fitment on them looks like it's gonna be good. So let's go ahead and slap them in the car, just reverse order of sticking them in, nuts on, connecting the connectors, and then putting the trim piece in. All right, so as you can see behind me here, we got the Euros installed on the vehicle. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I do or do not like them yet. I uh, think they look a little funny for the color of the car. As you can see, it is a darker color car. It is overcast today, so it makes it match a little bit. Now, I have thought about this is removing this GT badge here and then doing a black wrap across because the problem with me is it, it just it doesn't separate enough. Like, honestly, right now it looks really good. But for some reason in person to me, it, it just it doesn't match the color of the car. Um, something about blacking out the deck lid, but let me know down in the comment section what you think about it. But other than that, they look really, really good. Uh, as far as the LED features and all that stuff go, they look just as good as like factory does. As far as all of this going along there, there's no like overlay or overlap of the LED and like the housing as I've seen in some. And then the uh, reverse lights are LED and bright as well as the turn signals are bright as they blink across. It looks really good, honestly, for uh, the $400 you buy them on amazon for it is a really good kit so other than that guys that's pretty much going to be all for the video probably a little shorter i don't really know but i hope you enjoy there's gonna be a lot more content coming out on the mustang i am going full bolt on as you could probably tell earlier in the video as well as tuned as well as i'm going to ponies in the smokies later in march so there's a lot of stuff coming out so please subscribe like the video hope you all have a great sgl's day peace out and i'll see you next time